Well, if today goes to plan and we win both of our Europa League matches, we could potentially secure a top eight Europa League finish, hopefully. Hello, welcome to part 28 of my Road to Glory save with Harshak Split and in today's episode we shall be playing our final Europa League league phase fixtures against Slovan, Bratislava and IOK Gothenburg. I think it's Gothenburg but I'm, I'm not sure about that bit but that's what we play today. So since the last episode we have played quite a lot of fixtures. We have had the winter break. So that's quite good because I think the players could have done with a bit of a rest. So the matches we played, like between now and the last episode, were a. Yeah, Reds was the last episode, yes, it was. So we beat Rijeka 3 1 in the league. Then we also beat them in the Croatian Cup court final. Still don't know who we have because the draw is not until like middle of February because that, that's a bit strange. I would prefer to that competition to be over by now, but don't, don't really care about it. We'll try and win it this year. Like the, the board have asked me to win it, so we're gonna we're gonna win it. Then we also beat South Blue Po Moses is sort with two goals in that game. Then we did uh, lose against Real Sam Sebastian in the Europa League. I did I did say in the last episode that game was probably gonna be one of the most tricky games. Then we lost against Lokomotiv Berlin, drew against top of the table Ozashek. Then also winter break, we have done a few transfers because there's a transfer window now. So I'll just let's go through the players I've sold at the moment. So we have sold Lukas Gurdjic, he has gone to Citadel for 575k. Uh, Dario Melniak has gone to Konya Spool for 95k. So, players have signed. I have signed Miha Kompan Bresnik. He is a Slovenian left back. Three star current ability, three and a half star potential. So, he is currently the third, well, the second choice. He's my second choice left back behind Nuric Patek. I don't know how he isn't, but he's not a wonder kid yet. He has made his full debut for Slovenia, so that's good. So I reckon he'll be a very good backup. We got him for Mura for 1.75 million, so a little bit expensive, but I think he'll be a good player. Then Marbadu Kudavali is a Senegalese sentiment, three and a half star current ability. Leading first league player, got him on the... Does uh, say we got him on loan from Sala and Tana. I might have said that already, but he's on loan for the rest of this year. I might try and do him permanent at the end of this year if he's any good. Then final signing, but I'm sure he won't be the final signing. So we have signed Andro Dushanic. She is a Croatian, 18 years old. Two and a half star current ability, five star potential. Good first league player at the moment, so that's very good. We got him from Orishent for 400k, so quite cheap, that is. Do we have a release call? Yeah, we do have a release call, so have about 5.75 million. So if it goes, we'll make a hefty profit. That's all the signings I've done for now. I'm not sure if I'm going to make any other signings as of yet. So let's get straight into our first Europa League game of this episode. So put some win as well. So, in goal, we've got Via Marin, a back four of Pedro, Hotti, Ruran, and Patek. Beglio and L team in the midfield. Then we've got Benahu on the right, Lavaggio in the middle, Luna on the left, and Bolzan up front. Who is Fero want to buy? Braga. Anyone else wanted? No? Got a lot of players that are one yellow card away from suspension. Let's just hope I don't get the other card in this game, otherwise um, I might be in the poops for the next game. Come on, lads. I, I don't know much about Sova, but Bratislava. I did look at the team recently, but it's a bunch of greyed out players, so I think we should be winning this one fairly comfortably. I'd like to win it as well, just to, just to get back into the top eight, because... Uh, 
we're not in the top eight at the moment, which is not good. Jesus Christ, that was... Oh, no, it's a penalty. Oh, no, give away a penalty. How is that possible? Oh, dear. We might be about to go 1-0 down. Green steps up. Well done, Theo Morin. That's a brilliant save from the penalty. Absolute superb, that is. Could have done it better myself. I mean, I'm not a goalkeeper, so I probably would have let that in. Come on. Got 20 minutes left until our time. Can we get a opening goal, please? If we get a goal, we move into the top eight. Come on, lads. Well, the ball's a Very good tackle. Beglio. Benahu. Bolzan. Very close. Very close indeed. Come on, lads. I know we could get a goal. Pedro. Hotty. Come on. Beglio. Come on, lads. Our team, Navarra. Go on, yes, no. no. So close. Be it so far. Oh. Oh my god. San Medved has put Slovan Bratislava 1 0 up. That's not good. That's, that is not good at all. Oh, he is a real player. They, they do have real players. So. But when I checked previously, they didn't have any real players. Well, that's a bit. Um, It's not good. We need to get two goals this half. Easy said than done. Come on, lads. I know we can get two goals. I know we can pull up a comeback because we've pulled, done it many times this season. If we can get a goal here. That's a goal. Boris has scored. Don't give the penalty. It went into the back of the net. This game. This game is just stupid. Boris and scored. But the referee's going to give him a penalty, isn't he? Just please beg to God we score the penalty. Who's taking the barger? Yes, he scores it. I would have absolutely. I've been livid if he had missed it or we have got saved. It's 1 0 anyway. <laughs> Woohoo, come on, come on lads. One more goal, then we're in the lead. I think we are going to make a couple of substitutions. Pedro can come off for Mikanovic. Hotty can come off for Ferro. And I think we'll get off the barge. No, we don't we get off the barge. He's literally just scored. Uh, get on Sahiti for Luna. He could be a inverted winger. Come on, lads. Got half an hour left to try and get... Well, get a second goal. Don't try. We need the second goal. Come on, lads. I know we could do it. Patek. Good, good, good ball control, that is. Come on, lads. Pass it. You pass it round. Ferro. Come on, look at it. Look at that. Mikanovic is in acres of space. But it doesn't matter because Sahiti has tapped the ball into the back of the net to make it 2-1 to split with just under 25 minutes left to play. Right now we need a third goal. Where does that put us now? Because we are in the lead. Temp. Okay. Oh, well, that would put us in the top eight, but it doesn't. Um, who was that go? It was that tried to... Mikanovic to wake up because Patek was trying to pass it to you, but pissed to me you were already on the, your way back. That is not a penalty. That's he got the ball. I think it's probably outside the box. So if, I swear that was on the line. This referee's having a shocker. It's close. Fiamaro does die for the right way, but I, just, I don't think that was a penalty. 
I think uh, Fiamari did move just a touch too early. I think if he had delayed this dive, he might have saved it. Come on, lads. So a goal here. Yes, yes, Ibilahu with the third goal of the day, and it is now 3-2. We've got five minutes left of the match. Just uh, hold on to lead. Please don't do anything stupid. Come on, lads. Still in temp. So that's good. Yes, yeah, brilliant, brilliant, lads. Brilliant, lads. I think we are technically through to the playoff spots now, but not through to the... Um, I think round of 16 if we finish in the top 8. So we kind of need to, the, the next Europa League game is absolute massive. We need to win it like. But we need to. I don't, know, don't even know who it's against. Who's it against? Gothenburg, isn't it? Who secured? Yay, we secured a playoff spot. Woohoo, yes, in there. Absolutely love it. So I will play this. I'm going to play this Dynamo game off camera, which it's a game we should be winning because we actually beat them 3 0 last time. So, and Dynamo, they're not going to catch us, don't you worry. So, hope, hopefully, we do win against Dynamo, and hopefully, a win against Gothenburg should get us into the round of 16 in the Europa League. So, I knew we were going to beat Dynamo. But what I did know was we were going to thrash them for one. Absolutely unbelievable. So goal scorers were Bernardo, Lavadra with two goals, and Luna with the other goal. So pretty good with that. So league table wise, we are still five points behind Ozashek. Now, 15 games left. It, we can still catch them. I'm just getting a little bit more nervous now because um, the longer the, the longer I leave it, um, the harder it's going to get. It's, like I always said, it's not over until it's over. So I think we could still do it. What we could do with this game is a win. Then we get then we automatically qualify for the round of 16. However, if we don't, we have to go through a playoff playoff like round which I don't really want that to happen it might be nice too but I don't really want to so in goal we've got Fia Marwin a back four Pedro, Ruman Ferro and Patek Beckley and Adel team in the midfield then we've got Benahu on the right Kovanovic in the middle Sahiti on the left he could be a inverted winger then Bolzan up front come on lads let's get a win I know I have no idea how good Gotham got Gothenburg, oh, Gothenburg, 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 I think it's Gothenburg, I think that's how I'm going to pronounce it from now on, Gothenburg, I don't know how good they are, so, I don't know where they are in the table, they are 30th, they're almost definitely not going to qualify, so, should be an easy win, because they really got nothing to play for, come on lads, let's try and get an early-ish sort of goal, Kovanovic, oh, thought it was gonna, thought, generally thought it was gonna find his way over to Sahiti, but just gets um, the ball gets intercepted just in the nick of time. Benahu does have a ball though. Pedro, Kovanovic, come on, Sahiti puts the ball into the back of the net to make it one 0 to split, and what a start to the game. We barely. 15 minutes in and we are already 1-0 up. Where does this leave us in the table now? I think we are just outside. Oh, I don't, I don't know if we're going to do it. If we are going to do it, we need results to go our way. But at the moment, I don't think they are. Oh, Bolsa nearly gets the second there. Come on. Well, fairly freely, we're about to grab a second goal. Mero does put the ball into the back of the net and we are 2 0 up. Are we in the top 8 now? Oh, I don't like this game. Oh, it... no, we're not. Oh, oh no. Is it all done on head to head? Oh, it might be done on head to head. 
if that is the case, we're not going to get top eight because San Sebastian are eighth and we lost against them. I'm hoping that isn't the case. I'm hoping we do somehow get into the top eight by the end of this game. Bernardo, Beglio, come on. Kovanovic, Ferro, come on, Ruban. Kovanovic. Yes, Bolsan with the third goal of the day. This is a, this is a good match, but I need someone to bottle. Will be it Lazio, San Sebastian, or Frankfurt, or Southampton, or Newcastle, or any of those teams, just to bottle. Then we end up in the top eight. But I don't think it's going to happen, is it? I mean, that's you know, a winning 3 0, so they're not going, going to bottle. Balls in, come on, come on, lads. Let's try and get a goal. Try and get another couple of goals. Sahiti, that's the chance to cross it, goes down to the box, and it is not a penalty. I mean, another match, that would have been a penalty, but clearly not this game, but that doesn't matter because. Bonahu has got his 10th goal of the season and it is now 4 0. I don't know how we're not in the top 8. I seriously don't know how we're not. How are we not in the top 8? I just don't get it. Bonahu with a free kick. Could have been 5. It could, should have been 5. It's a good free kick. Good save. Goes out for another corner. Sahiti whips in this corner. Ruban! Headers the ball against the crossbar. So close to a fifth goal. We are going to get a fifth goal this game. It's just, um, just might not be enough. To... What we could do is happening. Um, we could do if Rangers getting a second goal against Southampton. That could do us the world of good. That might get us into the top eight. I don't think that will happen. But right, Pinero is going to come off for Mikanovic. And we are going to get off um, Feglio for a bong. And you know, I think we'll get on. Yeah, we'll get on Lavadra for Bolzan. I think that's all the subs we're going to make. Don't think I'm going to make any more subs because everyone is uh, playing pretty well. I mean, protects the lowest average rated player, 6.7. Come on, Southampton. No, no, come on, Rangers. Where where are they on the latest scores page? I can't see them. Mikanovic, who throws it in. That's a long throw. Tahiti, come on, shoot! Patek has a shot just put wide of a goal. Right, come on, what... I want to know what Southampton Rangers are doing. Ferro heads it just so wide of a goal. Benahu, Ferro gets in there as it's a fifth goal of the day. Brilliant. Are we in the top eight now? No, we're not. It's an anxious wait now, just to see what happens. Are we in the top eight, or do we have to go through the playoff rounds? Fingers crossed. No, uh, we have to go. Oh, it looks like the Southampton beat. Uh, it really is unfortunate. Oh yeah, we were never good. We are. Jesus Christ, um, San Sebastian finished with a goal difference of 23. Yeah, we were never going to get top 8, were we? Oh, it's unfortunate. But at least we're through to the knockouts, that's good. I don't know when the draw is for the knockouts. Let's take a look. Because if they're, like, soon... 3rd of the 2nd... We don't play a match. Oh, we did play a match before the draw. So, I think I will see you all tomorrow.
where we will be playing our Europa League playoff round. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more Daily Football Manager videos and thank you very much for watching.